Hey, it's David here from Danny's, and we're going to be looking at the five gallon basic wine starter kit. So, what makes this, uh, why we made this starter kit is we made it for uh, fruit wines. A lot of fruit wine recipes are five gallon because of the US, it's five gallon kits. Um, so, for, for the amounts, and uh, we also have fresh juice, which is a 21 liter or about five gallon uh, fresh juice. Uh, bucket so this works really really well as well as like grapes or things like that this five gallon works uh, Kit works really really well for those uh, And again these five gallon kits can be used. Uh, this is a basic version uh, And then it, we, you know with this equipment you can always build up and, and add more and, and change it And then we try to do that with this starter kit as well. So for this basic kit We'll start off with having uh, we have our primary fermenter, which is a 24 liter bucket with an airlock um, a three-piece airlock and a number six bung that fits inside the hole here and this is 24 liters so which be considered almost like a six gallon uh, bucket will then be used if you want for a six gallon batch or if you're doing fruit wines you want to have a little bit of extra uh, space so that the fermentation um, when it's so active doesn't overflow and that's the reason for that um, then we have here the five gallon plastic food grade um, carboy and here we have a number 10 uh, rubber bung with uh, an airlock, a three piece airlock. So this allows you to have two batches going at the same time. So if you're fermenting in this one and you're having a secondary in this one, then you have sort of two batches going at the same time if you want as well. So that's why we put two airlocks and uh, two separate bungs and of course the bung size is different. Um, and then we have here our racking tube. So we have a simple J tube with, uh, with a little nib on the bottom here. And this is a gravity fed J tube. So what that means is in comparison to an auto, um, an auto, um, auto siphon, you have uh, a J tube, which means that you'd have to suck on it and then gravity would, would uh, bring it down. So you'd suck and then, and then gravity would help uh, transfer the, the the siphon. So this is a very this is a, a basic uh, version uh, versus the complete has the auto siphon. In here we also have our test tube with the graduated cylinder, which is always handy, and we have a colored uh, thermometer, which allows us to show specific gravity uh, for both wine, beer, and any other fermented and uh, potential alcohol. So when you start, it has a potential alcohol, and then when it finishes, it would be a specific gravity of, of zero, which means uh, no more potential alcohol. Uh, and then we also have a bag of Aseptox, which is a no rinse cleaner. Instructions are come with it, and it's basically you're gonna add 50 grams into uh, one, gallon, um, one gallon solution, and it's a no rinse cleaner, and then you can just, anything that the wine would touch or juice would touch, you would uh, give it a quick clean for, for um, for sanitizing. Here we have an L brush. We find that cleaning is by far the most important thing throughout the process. So after you're done your fermentation or your secondary fermentation, you can then use this L brush and simply put in here and it cleans the sides and it cleans the base. And uh, this particular L brush does not scratch uh, any plastics. So it's very, very soft, but does the job. And it has a nice coating on it so it doesn't rust and it's just really, really nice um, owl brush. I'm gonna put this to the side here. And then we have here a mixing spoon. So you have your mixing spoon. It's always good to have a mixing spoon. <clears throat> if you're fermenting something or adding additives like a bentonite or something like that, then this works really, really well. And then of course, you can uh, put it upside down and mix this way as well. So this is a, a very, very good uh, economical starter kit for the five gallon uh, five gallon anything to do with five gallon uh, wine kit or wine uh, recipe and uh, it's 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 made so that if in the future you do want to scale up this will fit a 23 liter plastic uh, this is always usable um, and a, this bucket will always be used as well as the mixing so it's everything you would need from beginning to end without the only thing it's missing if you're bottling your wine would be corks and a corker so that's basically uh, what you would need to get started in fermenting.